I think as pitchers, we're going to have to be more proactive to be able to slow the game down ourselves. Uh, you know, sometimes, a lot of times, mound visits are hard to slow the game down. Something's getting out of control. Um, just to give us a breather, I think we're going to have to understand ourselves better. And when those situations come, we can't let it snowball into forcing someone to make a visit. Uh, we have to be able to step off the back of the mound, take a few deep breaths, and be able to get back on the mound and continue to make successful pitches. Um, because well, a lot of times that's eventually when a pitching coach has to come is when an inning kind of gets out of control and you'll see that during a game. But um, I think that's the one thing we really got to be proactive and understand now that this rule is in place. How do you communicate um, to the same degree with your catcher if he can't come out to the mound as, as often? Yeah, I think it has to be pre-inning um, communication, I think, uh, pre-game. During this time in spring training, there's got to be a lot more communication. There's no there's no crutch now. Um, there's nothing that um, somebody can come out in between an inning and, and say, hey, we need to do this, that, or, you know. So uh, I think understanding, I think pitching to a catcher for a while and having that camaraderie, having that communication on a different level where you don't even sometimes have to make the visit to understand each other even better. Uh, it's going to take some work, um, but I think that that's the best way to go about it right now. They're also going to start enforcing the um, time between innings a little bit better. Right. I know they actually cut it down last year, yeah. but it, it didn't wind up having much impact. Yeah. I know you guys actually find that sometimes you're out there waiting for them to resume yeah. games. Is that is that the case? For me, I, I was always quick. You know, Some guys take longer, but I get my seven or eight pitches and I'm ready to go. So I think it's going to vary a little bit. Everybody's going to have to make their own adjustment. but. I didn't mind that 25, 30 seconds uh, after I threw my last pitch, the catcher throws the ball down a second. I get the ball back to kind of regroup, have 20 seconds just to realize, hey, this inning's about to start, and then get on the bump and be ready to go. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's. I don't think that's going to affect myself in any way. So if they decide they're to do that, they're hustling up the right. hitter in a little bit quicker than maybe you're used yeah, to. Yeah, I mean, that... That, that may affect them. Sometimes them coming off a field, a left fielder, and especially at the Coliseum, a visiting team, or a right fielder on our team running all the way to the dugout, being the guy that's first up, and a new pitcher may be coming in. They're trying to get a scouting report on who's coming in from the bullpen, or, you know, it takes a lot of time. So, and for a guy to be prepared and feel like he's prepared, sometimes he needs that time, that extra time, and then to get his stuff on. We have Evo shields now, we have elbow guards, we have. Uh, ankle guards, we have stuff that they've got to put on, and batting gloves. I mean, there's so many things that needs to be done that you don't think takes a lot of time, but if you're coming from an outfield position, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. So that might be a little something more that the hitters have to adjust to, whereas you guys might so. have to adjust more to the mound or, visits. Or maybe like a, and I, I think they've uh, enforced this or, or talked about this too, maybe a National League um, team where a pitcher is left on base or is the last out or something like that, giving them a little extra time. Um, and but if there's no excuse or no nothing like that, sometimes a catcher feels rushed. He's on base or is the last out, um, makes it out at first, and he has to run back to the dugout, get his stuff on. That can take some time. So I think it's something that we definitely can improve, but I don't think there's any sense in rushing that aspect of the game. Um, if we're ready, then then we're ready. If not, then I think it's been going pretty smoothly the last couple of years. I assume you're pretty happy that they didn't add a pitch clock in. I didn't think a whole lot about it, you know. Um, I work quick anyway, so that's not going to affect me. Um, I think back into the game, there's some guys that, and there's situations inside of a game that need to be slowed down. Um, and I think what it boils down to is we got to throw more strikes. You look at uh, Mark Burley's of the world and Greg Maddox's through some of the quickest games you could ever imagine. and. The reason why is because they threw a lot of strikes. And yeah, the game's getting a little slower because every pitch is more meaningful, I think, as the years go on. Um, one pitch here or there could be the meaning of you getting the playoffs. It may be game 20 or it may be game 150. So I think that it's always been that way, but the emphasis is even more now that the teams are getting more competitive and, and closer in, in competition. I think that's a one thing that we really understand and why the games might be taking a little bit longer. Thank you for